Clifford Reed was a visionary developer of the Hollywood Riviera. After a trip to the Italian Riviera, he felt that this area of the South Bay had a similar look and feel and he envisioned an area with the surrounding beauty of the Riviera with the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. It embodied the glamour of Hollywood at the time, which was partially responsible for the name of the area itself. This 1928 historic Italian style estate is known as the Clifford Reed House. It sits at 124 via Monte Doro, Redondo Beach, California. It was built in 1928, has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and 6,756 square feet of living space. This property is listed at 8,995,000 and will be at auction May 7th through the 12th. Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz with Remax and Vision and welcome to our channel, Let's Just Locations. And today we are in the Hollywood Riviera of Los Angeles County and instead of filming a new construction, we wanted to switch it up for you guys. So we are going to film a historical property. So let's go check it out. One of the first things I want to point about this property is this beautiful Poseidon fountain. It is from Florence, Italy and rumor has it that it is actually from Malcolm Forbes and Malcolm Forbes is better known as the publisher of Forbes Magazine. We are going to pass your wrought iron gate that leads to your three car garage. You have outdoor lanterns, topiary trees, beautiful landscaping, a lush front yard, and here is a column balustrade with lantern lighting. We're gonna come in this landing area and if you look past the landing area, you will notice all the beautiful multicolored flowers and you are going to see another original fountain. This 1920 Italian style estate takes up three lots and is nearly 23,000 square feet. This house was built in 1928 and is almost 100 years old. All the wrought iron, hand painted tile and plaster was done on site and all the, the most the doors and windows are original to the property. You have a clay tile roof and Corinthian style columns throughout the property. Right here, this door is not original. Behind it, you have the original wood door, but you have iron design and glass behind that. So we are going to go check out the chauffeur quarters and the three car garage before we head inside. You are going to come up your driveway to your three car garage that have wooden doors and in a second you will see how spacious it is. So aside from your three car garage, it looks like you can fit about four more cars here. And one thing that I really think is cute of this house. So as I mentioned, this house is almost hundred years old. And back in the day when people had milk delivered, the milkman would come here, set your milk, close it. And you on the other side would open your little door and grab your milk. From here, we will come to the chauffeur quarters. You have a bronze antique chandelier, hobbled Roman shades. You have the original hardwood floors that are throughout the house. You have a hand painted ceiling. And this is one of the bedrooms. They think that a Murphy bed used to come from the wall 
and that was your bed. You have an original closet. And what I love, you have an original intercom. And if you look in here, you can see that it says 1872 on, I really don't know what it is, but it says 1872. <laughs> this bedroom is an ensuite. You have tile floor, tile design in the shower, and I love this shower. It has two shower heads, and it's a walk-in shower, meaning you don't need to step over anything. Just open your door, walk right in. Granite drop-in sink, and an original medicine cabinet with your mirror. So we are going to head into the foyer through the front door. And before we head there, I wanna mention this plaster work. So this was done on site nearly 100 years ago by artisans and you can't find it anywhere else because one, it's hard to find someone who does this work. And they put it on as a slab and they added these details in. They hand detailed it. So very unique. All right, let's head inside. We are coming through the front door and landing in our foyer area. And this is an original door to this house. And I wanna point out the tile that was painted on site nearly 100 years ago. And the artisan plaster design that is throughout your landing foyer area. If you look up, you will see an intricate ceiling design. You have a hand painted ceiling and wood beams. Over to the left, you will pass your archway that leads into your office or library. And check out this thing. I haven't seen a grandfather clock in a long time. It's cute, very original. Next to it, you have a heat system. And this is, well, this was state of the art back then. Modern homes don't even have heat control now. So all the systems have been updated, HVAC, uh, AC, heat, plumbing. So this is now technically a smart home but this is a cool feature. You can control each individual room. From here, we will walk across the staircase. I wanna point out the beautiful linear stained glass windows that let in an abundance of natural light. You have high ceilings, a hand painted ceiling with a crystal chandelier, crystal grand chandelier. And we will walk over to the telephone room in front of an imported Italian statue. And the telephone room, these are more commonly found in older houses. There are two telephone rooms. This is now the brain of the house. As I mentioned, updated systems, so you got some security. Uh, around that, you can see an original telephone to the house. You have recessed lighting. From here, we will head into the dining room. And you will pass through your wrought iron gate. I love this. This is one of my favorite features of the house. Wrought iron gates into your formal dining room. You have original sconces, original candle sconces all throughout the property. New drapes, curtains. You have a hand-painted coffin ceiling with a crystal chandelier an exit to your courtyard. And one of my favorite things about this room is this oversized window that is behind the head of the table. As we were filming in here earlier, you know, the day's gone by, but there's a lot of natural light that comes through this room. And next to the formal dining room, we have our breakfast snack. Pass through a little hallway, and here you are in your breakfast snack. You also have an exit to your courtyard and your backyard. And this could even be an office. I was standing here earlier um, 
Definitely works because it's right next to the kitchen, but it could be another office or a child's playroom. You have a hand-painted ceiling with a vintage chandelier. Right next to the breakfast nook, you have your updated kitchen. Coming into the kitchen, we'll step on marble flooring. We have a staircase leading upstairs. We have stainless steel appliances, sub-zero fridge and freezer, and we have two wine fridges. We have recessed lighting, double chandelier, multi-tiered island with bar stool seating. It looks like you could possibly fit four. And we have a granite countertop. We have a Viking range, which is four burner stove and designed to look vintage and antique, vintage antique. And we have a beautiful tile backsplash. I love this. So granite countertops, a lot of space. That tile backsplash throughout the kitchen. We have a stainless steel farm sink. And one more thing before we get there, I want to point out that I accidentally missed another copper island sink. So back to the stainless steel farm sink. It is next to double Fisher and Pagel dishwashers. So you have two dishwashers in this kitchen and you have a third, oh, that's the microwave. <laughs> you have a third oven. Wolf appliances, Wolf microwave, Wolf oven. From here, you have the original windows. You have a view of your three-car garage, and we'll head into storage area, pantry area. A lot of natural light. You have your laundry room, granite countertop, updated tile backsplash, soft clothes cabinets and drawers, recessed lighting, and this laundry room leads to your garage area. And here, is that little milk thing that I mentioned earlier. I have yet to see this in a property. I think this is super cool. We also have what is the maid's quarters or another bedroom. You have original sconces, original windows, closet space, and in here you have a pedestal sink, and you have this beautiful tile backsplash, which you can feel the texture on it. It's made to look vintage. Hexagon tile shower design. Tile flooring. You have granite countertop, beautiful mirror and a vessel sink. From here, we will head through the laundry room and the kitchen and head over to the office. And on the way to the office, we have this hallway that you can come through. They utilize the space. They hung a lot of photos. You have a beautiful archway, chandelier, and if you head out that door, you can head to your three-car garage or you could just sit here, relax, open all the windows and let all the, the ocean breeze and the light in. And we will head down the tile steps onto the nearly 100-year-old tile. And we are going to head into the office, but before we do, under this archway, we have two powder rooms. There's a lot of entertaining in this house. They each have pedestal sinks, oh, pedestal vanities, uh, vessel sinks, and beautiful antique style mirrors, chandeliers, and tile flooring. And from the powder room, one of the powder rooms, we will head into the office. But what is cool about this is it can also be used as a movie room because they installed a home projection system. It is also wired for sound, to have that surround sound experience. And you are stepping on a vintage carpet, restored hardwood floors. You have built-in wood bookshelves underneath arches. And you have oversized windows that you can open and enjoy that ocean breeze. You have new custom drapes. 
And you have a beautiful custom fireplace. There are three fireplaces in this property and you have a tile hearth brick on the side and the back and then the artisan work on the remainder. We are going to pass through the foyer under our plaster arches, down our tile steps, into the backyard. We are going to exit the living room and step out into the courtyard. You have tile, two marble benches. You have an entrance to the grand dining room. And we will walk around, but you also have an entrance to the sunroom. From here, you have an entrance to your second dining room. You have two original fountains in this backyard. This is one of them. You have beautiful maroon and blue contrasting tile colors. And we are walking along a concrete path that you could follow around the house back to the front yard. And what's interesting about this wall is this used to be the original wall and they actually extended it to make a larger backyard. How do you extend a wall? I have no idea, but they did it. You have two entrances to your sunroom, which we will get to in a second. And then another original fountain. And through your wood and iron door, you lead back into the front yard. So from here, we will head into the sunroom. We are going to head into the sunroom through one of your original doors, and all of these sconces in the property are original and they were handmade on site. You have the original hand-painted tile and a beautiful new crystal chandelier that is attached to the hand-painted tray ceiling. And at the end of the room, you have a beautiful sculpture that what is in what used to be a fountain. However, the owners didn't want to deal with the maintenance of the fountain, but you still have beautiful marble flooring and a stained glass window behind with brick siding and an exquisite archway. We are going to pass one of the exits into the courtyard and head into the family room. room. Up your tile steps onto your original restored hardwood floors under your archway and along your wrought iron railing. Here are the original candle sconces I mentioned earlier. And we are going to step on what is a nearly 100 year old silk Persian rug. This rug has been here since the house was built. And one of my favorite things of this room is the opulent solid wood hand painted beams on the ceiling. You have original arch windows that let in an abundance of natural light. You have another exit onto the courtyard and you have a beautiful grand piano. However, I'm gonna touch up on one more thing 
It is this original fireplace, and it, it was one of the three fireplaces in the house. We're going to head up the stairs from the family room. And I love these stairs because of these stained glass linear windows. They let in a lot of light and a lot of warm light. And I love this unique red rope railing. I also want to point out there is a lot of design in this half turn staircase. You have the tile steps and then you have wrought iron design here and design right here. So let's head into the primary bedroom. going to head into the primary bedroom where you have the original restored hardwood floors. You have a wood poster bed frame. You have beautiful detail that is original to the house throughout this room and other rooms. And one of the more modern features I want to point out is this is a TV. We can't bring it up, but they didn't want to hang the TV on the wall because they didn't want to original uh they wanted didn't want to ruin their original wall. You have candle sconces and another cool quality about this room is the original closet with a safe. And in the rest of the primary bedroom we have a crystal chandelier and this is a lot of space for a primary bedroom. You can fit a grand piano. You have a nice seating area here in front of one of your other fireplaces with beautiful hearth tile and custom brick design. And we will come into the walk-in closet. You have recessed lighting, a beamed ceiling, wood paneling, soft clothes, cabinets and drawers, a full length mirror, and we are going to head into the primary ensuite. You have beautiful dual vanities with drop-in clamshell sinks. And these mirrors, they aren't antique, but they wanted to have an antique feel, they're newer. You have hobbled Roman shades, and something that's very cool to these bathrooms is these are the medicine cabinets that were built with the house, so those are very old. You have a claw-footed freestanding tub under your crystal chandelier. You have a drying area to hang towels or to sit after you get out of the shower. And this is one of my favorite, favorite shower tile designs I've ever seen. This is beautiful. You have bench seating, granite bench seating, tile design on the floor. You have dual shower heads. And then on the other side, giving you a little privacy for your toilet, you have a privacy screen. And we will head into the remainder of the upstairs. And before we head down to the other bathrooms, I wanna mention your private primary bedroom balcony. And you have a view of the ocean, if you look straight ahead. I actually grew up hanging out at that beach. I am an original to this area, I went to high school down the street and a lot of friends I know have grown up in this neighborhood. So this neighborhood's special to me. You have Corinthian columns, archways, and original doors. And now we will head into the remainder of the bedrooms. 
We are going to head out into the hallway underneath your hand painted ceiling with your grand crystal chandelier. And you're coming along your wrought iron railing with that unique on-site plaster design made by artisans I mentioned. With your tile under your archway, you have a full length mirror. You have a beautiful chandelier and this is a cedar lined closet and cedar helps keep termites and moths out. And right next to your cedar lined closet, you have what is your second phone room. It's a cute little original phone here. <laughs> From your phone room, we will come into one of your other bedrooms. And this bedroom, it's not as large as the primary, however, I personally think it has the best light. You have a crystal chandelier, your private balcony with your wrought iron railing, your Corinthian column designs and archways. And you have also a walk-in closet, soft closed cabinets and drawers, a vanity with an antique style mirror, hobbled Roman shades, and you have your beautiful bathroom. And this bathroom has a subway tile design, which was updated, recessed lighting, glass shower, uh, hexagon tile design on the floor, dual shower head, and you have a freestanding vanity with another unique antique looking mirror and a vessel glass sink. And we will head through the closet, through the bedroom into another bedroom. We are going to pass your linen closet, original linen closet. You have another beautiful chandelier. Here is the other dumb waiter. I can't open it, I don't wanna mess that up. You have the other dumb waiter, the top of your staircase. And you have what is going to be the smaller bedroom of the house. Original sconces, a view of your courtyard, original closets with door detail. And you can actually pass into another bedroom from this bedroom. Same beautiful door detail, same beautiful wall detail. This is a funny little sconce. I like this one. I don't want to pull it, but it's cute. <laughs> Crystal chandelier. And a grand view of your backyard and courtyard. And the rest of the neighborhood, and it looks like a new house is even being built right there. From these windows, you can hang down like Juliet. Oh, Romeo. <laughs> And I love these things. I love these large oversized candle holders. I would have 30 of those in my room. You have newer tile on the floor. Another crystal chandelier. Freestanding vanity with a unique vessel sink. You have beautiful tile in the shower matching the walls and the floors with dual shower head. Here's some more detail and another walk-in closet with the original restored hardwood floors, soft clothes cabinets and drawers, full length mirror, recessed lighting, and hobbled Roman shades.
thank you everyone for watching and before we finish this video tour i want to touch up on a couple nostalgic things for me so i grew up at this beach right here all throughout high school and earlier times i would buy food from that snack shack right there and i would play volleyball at those nets over there so thanks again like comment subscribe we would really appreciate it and we appreciate the support that you have been showing us so far so thank you and stay tuned